What is going on guys? Welcome to another video on my channel here at Literacy. I hope all of you guys have been doing well. So I actually just moved to a hotel in Seoul and I wanted to do a quick video of my new hairline. There's a lot of people that's been watching my uh, my first video on my second hair transplant and they've been asking me to cover a video of my new hairline design and exactly how many grafts and what I've done. So this is what it looks right now. Um, I'm actually on day three and I actually just came back from the clinic to get my uh, shampoo done. So let me show you guys up close what it looks like. So this is my new hairline. Um, as, you, as you guys can see, there's a bunch of grafts in the front portion of a hairline. And also further back over here, you guys can see that there is added density all throughout. And also the temporal triangles right there actually extends out just a little bit to make the forehead look a little bit smaller. And also the this is the left temporal peak. Um, you can see that it's been uh, a little bit more uh, brought down to not make it look like it's receding too much. Same thing on the right side, um, right there. So I actually got a little over 1800 grafts. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a lot of these single grafts that were implanted into the frontal portion of the hairline. And then it's been reinforced with the multi grafts in the back to uh, give it a good uh, density. And also, let me show you guys the back. So when I first got my uh, first hair transplant, um, I actually went with the full shaved um, the procedure where they actually ended up shaving the donor zone so that it'll be easier to extract the grafts. But this time, what I actually did was I actually opted out for the non-shaved. So that just means that the donor zone is not actually shaved. So for those who actually want to uh, not make a hair transplant as noticeable, and you guys are kind of like limited on time. You guys want to go back to work within a relatively short period of time. Um, it actually disguises the back of the scalp or the donor zone pretty well. So let me show you guys how it looks. So let me actually extend this out a little bit so you guys can get a better view. But that right there is the back of my scalp in the donor zone area. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, let me try it a little bit better. Maybe that one will work. But, you know, it's not as noticeable as the, uh, the shaven method. Now, um, it looks like it's a little bit thinning in the back. It's actually, I've been wearing a beanie, so the hair's been pressed. And also since I did extract 1800 grafts from the donor zone, um, but it's healing really well. It's not as painful or red as it was for the first procedure. And then I think even for the front, the hairline design um, looks really good. And the redness should subside after about a month or two. Um, I think for my first piece of procedure, I think it took about two months for the redness. But that's also because I do have light skin. Um, but yeah. And also don't mind that part right there in the middle. It's because I was, you know, like I said, I was wearing a beanie. But I think this hairline looks pretty good. Um, it suits my facial structure. And also what I've been doing was I've been getting the saline solution to keep these gaps from, um, you know, getting all hard. And just pretty much spraying this a few times every day just to keep everything moist. And yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think of my new hairline design. Let me see if I can actually part the hairs and show you guys a better view. Also, don't mind my, my skin because I've been actually getting a lot of mosquito bites here in Korea. And uh, that's why you guys see all of the, the redness and the bumpiness and everything like that. But here's another good look. Now, I don't know if I guys told you before, but I didn't really lower the hairline too much, at least in the front. Um, there is still existing hair there. Um, I want to say the doctor probably lowered it maybe about half a centimeter. Um, I did lower the the, uh, the temporal points right there 
just a tad bit just to make it look a little bit more realistic looking as far as the hairline and you know I'm pretty satisfied with how the design for the temporal triangles came out because before um, I actually didn't have this portion right there so it actually made my my uh, forehead look a lot wider same thing on the other side but the doctor didn't really extend this out too much it's actually exactly where it was before it's just added density and I think overall it's gonna look pretty good so that's how it looks like um, if you guys have any questions you can uh, leave me some comments or shoot me an email at hairlicious at gmail.com but per your request that's how it looks like and like I said I'm also going to be doing a documentary of the second hair transplant procedure from the start to the end as far as the whole extraction portion the slits uh, when the doctor created the slits um, and also the implantation so stay tuned for that um, I just don't have a computer with me I'm actually just filming with my cell phone right now and I just wanted to get this video out so you guys can take a look but one last look again there is my hairline um, I don't have any receding in the crown area it's just the front portion so I'm looking very forward to the results and um, yeah if you guys have any questions let me know and I will talk to you guys in my next video take care